Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back at the Winding Rivulet in Russian Fishing 4, and it is a sunny afternoon. I know it's been a little while since I've been here, but I've been messing around with a lot of other games as well. I was trying out that dinosaur game, but I did find out that that thing has got a lot of updates to come, and it's still in such an early stage that you can really hardly play it. So, I'm wouldn't judge that game too harshly just yet guys any more than any other game I think this game went through that for a while with a lot of people too and as they said it's only about 30 percent done so you gotta give things a chance and this game the Howler is a lot more advanced than that believe me they have done very well with this now I'm gonna come over here and in the afternoon it seems like I don't do as much in regards to bottom fishing so I'm thinking of doing some top fishing this time instead of using the feeder reels at least until it gets a little bit later once it gets closer to the evening then we might talk about it but I think I'm gonna come over here there's a good spot over here I think I've shown it to you a few times in some of the previous episodes when it was still in Russian but you basically have to go all the way over here to where these uh, fir trees are or redwoods or whatever you want to call them there's like a rock over there I don't know if you can see it off in the distance there actually any of these places are probably good spots but we're gonna come over here get behind this rock area I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of float fishing and I, don't know, I might throw one just one feeder rod out because I can only really work with two rods at the same time so let me go ahead and get my Now last time I had potatoes on this, and I'm not so sure about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up here a little bit. I don't have any night crawlers, so let's try the pearl barley this time. I think I'm gonna throw this right over here by this grassy area. Perfect. Yeah, if there's anything big in here, this rod should be able to bring it in. But we are going to get out our float rods again. I'm going to switch, put my starling stick in number one, and put my tele stick in number two. And we're going to get our Starling stick out here first. Let's see, what bait should we get, guys? We can't get anything too heavy because we have the the quill on there. So let's let's use maggots. I think that'd be probably the best thing to do. And we'll go ahead and take this out to about a meter. And we're gonna toss that. Uh, let's toss it right over here. Because there is going to be a bit of a current. We'll need to back up probably before we put the rod down. Yeah, it seems to be doing just fine. And I think with this rod, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a regular worm on here because there's a lot of perch around here so we're gonna put worms on here and I'm gonna keep it shallow wait a minute something going on over there uh, yep something is going on over there back on it he is he is stealing my my 
glory here. Come on, little fishy. There we go. Ooh, dang it, gone. Nice chub. 425, 1.361 kilograms. You bet your sweet bippy I'm keeping him. Very nice, very nice. Throw that back out. Let's get our second rod out before something else happens. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss this in kind of close. Well, that's not really close. That's too close. Good God. Sometimes it's aggravating. There. Sheesh. Couldn't get it out there. It's like, God. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to basically keep our eyes on both of these. Now, the perch are pretty prevailing over here. And there we go again with that one. We got definitely another bite. Better be ready to take it. I think it's time. Ah! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! Holy crap, 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 crap. Grab the telestick. Oh, you little pain in my rump. That's two of you that got me. Two of you. Bet you think you're special, huh? Think you're special? I don't think so. Okay. Look at him. At the same stinking time. Great. Okay, I'm going to make sure he does do something with it this time. Okay, he did something with it. <laughs> he got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Come here, fishy. It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an okay fish. Boy, he really wants it, but he isn't taking it completely. He is hitting it hard, though. Look at that. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what this guy is. He has a perch. Never saw one hit it so damn hard before. So fast. He's just like, bam, 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 bam. see my bobber. Okay, there it is. It's the only thing about the quill bobbers. They work great, but they're very hard for me to see. <laughs> they're just so small and skinny. They work great, though. Okay, I've got a bite over here. Ooh, nice little eyed. Nice little eyed. Such a nice little eyed. He's such a pleasant little fish. Hmm. Damn, I wish I could get over on this side of here. Yeah, I've kind of got a little bit of crowding going on here with these lines. What's we're going to have to do with this? Yeah, we're going to go a little bit closer this time. Ugh. Killing me. 
Seriously? So particular, so particular. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled. I'm gonna let him continue to bite at it. Carp over here, and I think. Oh crap! I didn't. Wait a minute. Before I leave, we'll see if this fish. This is really serious. If not, we'll just pull it. Check him out. What is up with that? Is this a dance? He has been messing with this thing for quite some time here. But he never really fully takes it. He, he got away. Oh, the heck with it. Heck with it, heck with it. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back over to the campsite. Alright, guys. I had to leave. Unfortunately, when I got back, it was already morning. So, we're just going to kind of fish here for a little while. And the fishing is usually still pretty good early in the morning, but... Unfortunately, I missed the night fishing. Daggone it. Seems like life always has a tendency to get, interrupt my gaming, you know? <laughs> it just, just gets a little frustrating at times. But I am going to reel this in because after looking at that from such a distance, I don't think that's in the hole. Now it's in the hole. All right. It's still early enough in the morning, we might have a little bit of luck, but let's bring this in just a little bit more. There we go, that should have it in the hole. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, I think we got us a decent fish here, guys. Ah, he got away. He got away. You're killing me, fish. Damn it. He got the stinking way. Well, looks like the fish won that round. As we say, sometimes the fish wins. He was a nice one, too. You could tell. Well, I think maybe we need to go do some burbot fishing. What do you say, guys? Sound good to you? Can't get over the fact that that stupid fish got away. I don't think he was so stupid if he got away, I guess. Yeah, I think we're going to keep the baits what they are. And we're just going to head on over to the point. Now, I'm going to. It's going to take a while to get over there. There's no quick way to get there. You have to go over the bridge and all the way back up. So this is going to take me a minute. So I will be right back, guys. All right, I'm almost there, guys. I am headed out to the point. Now, Kachi 
has told me that the burbot fishing here is just awesome. So I'm going to give it a shot. See what we're, we can do here. Now this is the deep water here, so we should fare fairly well. I'm going to cast this thing out as far as I stinking well can. Back up a little bit. A little bit more, I guess. There we go. Sorry about my dogs. They're always wrestling. They're just playing. I know, they're being puppies. Trouble is, I'm afraid that that's disturbing your all's... Which you can hear. I hope not. I'm sure you can hear that. Crazy dogs. Alright, we're just gonna let that sit. I hope it's not too late in the day for this, but we can at least do a little spin casting. We might do a little float fishing. But I think I'm gonna switch my lures here this time. I'm gonna. Got a bunch of lures that I've been wanting to try. Let's see, we got perch. There's Pike. There's one for Xander. I've been really curious about this one. It might be the wrong time of day for Xander, but I kind of like to give this a try. Let's see, what's my real... Oh, i got to take that way down. Alright, let's try a slow retrieval speed. We'll cast out there in the deep part and then we'll do this to the side so I can kind of keep an eye on the rod as it bends we're just gonna reel in a little like and stop about every five seconds There we go. It didn't take long. I'm not sure what I got here. Probably a perch, but... The perch bite off this pretty good, too. Yep, little bitty guy. That's okay. tend to like rainy weather the best. Whoa, there we go. Nice side, nice side. Yeah, I really like this lure. This lure is pretty damn good. There, it's, that cast is a lot better. I wanted to get it more out in the open. Alright guys, looks like I pulled in a pretty decent sized river mussel and I had checked over at the cafe earlier and I believe there is an order for one of these so I'm hoping that I can get a little bit extra cash for that. That's going to be awesome. Now we're going to try this again. I tell you, this is a lucky lure. I've just been doing really well on here. Now nothing's been monstrous but... It sure has done well for me. Alright, let's take a look, see what else we got here. Got some heavy lures for Pike. I don't really think I'm ready for those just yet. Alright, let's give these tiny spoons a try, because I've been told these are awesome for catching perch and pike go for them too so let's just see I got enough of them
Wow. Ah, oh, I think he got all. Yeah, he did. A little pain in the butt. He got off. All right. I was trying the best I could equivalent, best equivalent to a lift and drop, and it works really, really good. If you could raise the rod like you should, it'd be so much easier. But that's what you get when you do that. A much bigger perch. Let's try that again. Let me show you what I'm doing, guys. Let me toss it way out there. You can't lift the rod. You, this just makes it do that. That's not what you want to do. You want to do it slowly. So you kind of have to use your mouse like that. It's my closest approximation to a lift and drop that I can come. And it seems to work very, very well. See what I mean, guys? <laughs> Ooh, let me try one more thing here before we go any further. I've got some pike lures here. Should be able to handle this lure just fine. Let me try that maneuver with this. Yeah, he's a little bitty perch, or per pike, I mean. Whoa! Okay, we've got something decent size this time. Let's keep it up in the air. Yeah, they... Whatever this is, it likes that lure. An asp! Nice one too. Very nice. Six four sixty nine XP. Let me try that again. An asp, huh? guys I think that's the end of our spin casting I'm gonna sit here by these feeder rods for a little bit longer and I'm gonna have to run over and drop these fish off but I think I'm gonna stop recording unless something actually happens while I'm sitting here so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my starling stick and just do a little flow fishing while this is going on and if anything happens interesting, I will bring it back. Alright guys, looks like we've finally got us a bite. I came over here to do a little fishing by the campground since it got dark. And... I heard a jingle just a second ago. I'm not sure which one it is. It'll be that one. Alright, we got something fairly decent size. Let's pull up on it so that it doesn't get away. It's not huge. I think it's a burbot. I'm not sure though, we'll see here in a second. Yep, it's a burbot. 1.387 kilograms. And I got extra XP because I was tipsy. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, we'll keep him. Let's throw that out again. See if we can't get something else while it's still night.
Alright guys, looks like we got another one. I think it's this one here, it's the Asteria. Yep, that's it. And he isn't huge. Either that or he got off. Nope, there he is. That's a little bitty burbot. <laughs> little bitty guy. Yeah, the hook I've got on the Asteria is really big. So if anything gets on it, it's going to have to probably be a catfish. I think I got a one-odd hook on this. That's set, and we can go back to checking this one out. Anyway, guys, if anything happens, again, I'll bring you back. If not, I'll s son of a gun. Do that again. Hmm. Anyway, if anything happens, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, we will go take our fish to the fishmonger and see what we can get. Another bite, and I think this will probably end this episode once we check this out. But this is a significant fish. Now we're going to keep tension on this guy because he is not getting away if I can help it. Come on, fish. I'm not sure if I'm gaining any ground on him, but... He is not budging. Okay, we're pushing the heck out of this thing, but he is coming. Take it down just a notch. I'm gonna keep this tension on him. He is not coming easily, that's for sure. Boy, it's a big fish, guys. Keep that 
tension on him. drag him out on the thing because I don't think I have a net. I don't remember if I do or not. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I'm thinking of the other game. He's coming. I can see him now, but he is not coming easily. It's got to be a catfish. Okay, he's coming guys, he's coming. There he is. Nice. Personal record, the biggest fish caught. Yes. 2.946 kilograms, guys. There he is, and I am getting a picture of him. Very nice fish. I've been looking for one of these guys. Almost three kilograms. Not too bad. I'm sure other people have caught a lot better, but this is the biggest so far. Biggest so far, guys. Let me get another pick snapshot of Mr. Smiles there. We will keep him. And I think it is time to go visit our fishmonger and sell these fish. What do you say, guys? Let's head on back. I think that was one good session of fishing. Boy, he was not coming in easy. It's like he had dug in and wasn't coming. Alright guys, before we go to the fishmonger, we're going to check to see if there's anything here that we can sell these guys. So I think they were looking for a river mussel. Yes, they were. So they got 3.89 silver for that. Oh, it wasn't big enough. Oh, it's too small. They wanted it between 59. It was too big. God bless it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously? Well, I don't think I have any of the other here. Others that are listed here. Oh well. It was worth a look. All right. Let's see. If we're going to get in the fish market. Let's see. He brought in 2.57. That wasn't huge, but still, I think he's my biggest fish so far. This burbot brought in 3.81. 2.83 for this asp, not bad. 1.30, we got 2.27 for the river mussel. 4.25 for that 1.361 kilogram chop. Very nice, guys. Very nice. 
Well, we done good. We done good, as my dad used to say. 18.43. We will sell them. And there we go. Not bad. 18 point... Well, obviously you're going to get a lot more when you get into later levels, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. That was a lot of fun. Anyway, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.